Good day, YouTubers. Thanks for joining me here for another unboxing video. I purchased some bottles from a 70s Diggers collection. And in this tote tub right here, I have a bunch of labeled bottles. Some of them are antique, some of them are vintage, some of them are like from the 70s, maybe even into the 80s. But I'm going to attempt to go through gonna try to get through all of them in this video uh, maybe not might end up having to do two videos of course that depends on how long the video is and uh, how many bottles we can get through in X amount of time so without further ado let's get into those I got a drink here I'm gonna be sipping on that and uh, you might want to go grab one too <laughs> all right let's get started Alright, so let's dig right in here. Uh, grab this one here to start off. Lancer's Table Wine. And I can see the date on it right there. It is 1968. Vintage 1968. And it appears to be green glass. With some sort of coating on it. And then a paper label. That's an interesting bottle. 1968. How old is that? 32, 52 years old. I guess we're going to have to set that here if we want to see it. Okay, uh, next up. Okay, here's a bottle here. Machine made. Dr. Wilson's Syrup of Tar and Extract Cod Liver. Okay, this is a local bottle. I can see down here, St. John, New Brunswick. The Braley Drug Company. The label's in pretty good condition. It's probably getting near 100 years old, that one. Alright. Next up. How about uh, this one here? Now that's an old bottle. Blown in a mold with an applied lip. Nice uh, dark green color. Lynn Burnishing Ink. That's a old shoe polish. And that label looks like a thinly sliced piece of Swiss cheese. <laughs> Well, I mean, considering the age, it's not in too bad of condition, but, uh, well, that's a nice bottle, though. Yeah, look at that. Nice base on it, too. Got a bunch of stuff fall out of it. I'm going to have to clean that up. All right, so there's that one. On to the next. We got, uh, let's go with this one here. Is it anything too spectacular? So Walker's Special Old Canadian Whiskey. Well, that's got to be from the 70s. <laughs> Check it out. But there it is. Uh, nothing really to write home about, but uh, that was in the collection. It's in the box, and now it's sitting on the table. All right. <laughs> okay, here's a little one here. Sloan's liniment screw top, and it's still got quite a bit of the liniment in it. Embossed on the back side there. That's probably like late 30s or 1940s. It's a pretty old bottle. And the label's in pretty good condition. As you can tell, I haven't cleaned any of these up. Set that one there. Sloan's liniment. Next up, let's try this one. There we go. Okay. Caldwell's Rum. Nice embossed bottle. I found one of these a few years ago, actually. I think it was like the first year I was uh, actually digging for bottles. I found one of these. So I've still got the cap on it. And ta-da! There's the label on the back. It's a federal law forbids bottle. I think this dated to the late 40s or 
maybe the 50s. That might be the date there, actually. Maybe it's 60, 66, 65. That could be the date. I'm not, I don't know for sure. I thought they dated more to the 50s, but anyways, that's a nice bottle. Set that one there. And there was light. So I also got uh, a few books as well from this collector. And here's one here. And I was thinking of maybe doing a couple videos of going through the books. And some of these books actually have the prices on the uh, bottles and lots of lots to look at in them so give me a heck yeah down in the comments there if that's something you'd like to see maybe a video or two of going through some of those bottle books all right let's get uh, back into the tub so i'll just grab this one right here that's a little sample bottle it's like a liqueur bottle, maybe. Never heard of it. No idea. There it is, anyways. 40% alcohol, whatever it was. Okay. Right. And, okay, here's a Jurgen's face cream. All purpose face cream. This one's got the lid on it as well. And the back label. Jergens on the base. Okay, that's a, that's a nice little bottle. Um. Okay, this has to be fairly modern. <laughs> they still make this one. I'm, quite, I'm pretty sure they make that. I've drank that over the holidays. <laughs> yep. Nice big Kahlua bottle. Not sure how old that one is. But anyways, there that is. That was in the tub as well. Um, okay. Well, now here's an oldie here, folks. This one is a blown in a mold bottle with a another applied lip. Check it out. Teacher's Highland Cream Whiskey. That's a nice old bottle, and that label's in pretty good condition given the age on that one. That's something to be uh, admired there. Wow. It's a nice bottle. Oldie. Real oldie. That's got to be 1890s. Nice bottle. Alright. Trucking right along. Let's haul this one out here with a cork in it. Alright. That's a black tower check that bottle out black tower i don't know if they still make this stuff or not 9.5 percent alcohol so white wine see that down here vin blanc that's french for white wine okay pretty cool there's a price tag there. Look, NB Liquor. That's got to be from the 70s. If I'm not mistaken, let's set that over on this side here. There's another one right here. It's a little bit bigger. And it might even be a little bit older. That's a really dark amber glass you can see through there black label hmm nice four dollars and ninety cents 
Yes, sir. That was a while ago. Two towers. Here's one. Speaking of black, this one here is a black flag. I think that's a insect repellent or something. Yeah. Machine made cork top. And that's still got the substance in it as well. You can see there. Looks like it's all hardened in there. But uh, pretty neat. Still got the label on it. Black flag. Okay, I'm back. I had to take a little break there. <laughs> the next up is this little sample bottle. And it is a Golden Eagle Vodka. It looks fairly old. Label's in fairly good condition. Maybe from the 50s or 60s. It's got stippling around the base here, so it was definitely after the 40s. little crown top or cork top. Nice label on that. Okay, here's a lid. And I do believe that's going to go on this Skiarada bottle. Yep, there that is. To complete that. And next up, let's try this green one. It's a Funders tablet. It's got the lid on it. That lid would clean up nice, I'm sure. Got the tablets in it with some cotton bat in there. And I do believe this was like an antacid. So, there you have it. Nice little green bottle with the contents. Alright, so it definitely looks like it's going to be a two video tote tub full of stuff here. But we'll do a few more here. Here's something here, some sort of beer. And that's got the cap still on it. Although the cap has seen de definitely seen better days. Let's put it that way. Cerveza Skull. Pilsen. Interesting. Not a particularly old bottle, but it was in the bin. Okay. Onward. Check this one out. Here's a nice label. Sure, you guys are familiar with the Mrs. Stewart's Blowing. Well, here's a bottle here. And it's got the label on it. Looks like it definitely had some use. Still got the cork in it. And it's embossed up around the shoulder here. And uh, on the front side as well. Well, there that is, if you ever were interested in what the label looks like. Okay, folks, so we're going to finish this one off with this bottle right here. We got through about half of the bottles, so it's going to be a two-video tote tub full of bottles. And this one's a lug-style screw top, as you can see up here. There's three lugs there, and that's going to date that to like the late 1920s, early 1930s. So it's like a 90-year-old bottle. Label on it's in pretty good condition, actually. Eaton's Glycerin. Used for bronchial troubles and throat irritations. So there you go. It's got some directions down here. In good condition. There's your label, your... Uh, base there. Design registered 1922. Alright, so that's going to be it, folks. You can see I'm running out of space on my camera here as well. So thanks for watching. Appreciate everybody tuning in. And uh, tune in for the next one. And don't forget, put down in the description whether or not you'd like to see some uh, 
a video of a couple of uh, bottle books. All right, over and out, folks. Have a great day.